Chester, come quick. Our pack of teddy bears is in danger. A bloody war has begun in the fields between us and the giant grizzly bears. They are trying to claim our territories and to conquer all small creatures in the area. Oh no, Teddy. Grizzly bears are our worst enemy. How is our supply of troops? Unfortunately, we have already lost thousands of our woodland allies and fellow teddy bears. Many species, including our own, are becoming more endangered due to all of the bloodshed. But the menace needs to be stopped before it attacks anyone else. I thought you might be able to help, because you are the fiercest teddy bear in the pack. Do not worry, I will not let our pack down. With the aid of bears, I will avail in defeating the evil grizzly bears. I will do whatever it takes to make them leave the area. I will avenge the death of our fallen comrades. What makes you think you could help our people and defeat a creature that is five times your size? Our enemy can destroy you as effortlessly as someone ripping a sheet of paper. Have you forgotten that you were once one of the worst and most diabolical dictators in the land? Your entire troop was defeated by a pack of squirrels. I have the leadership experience like that of Zeus. I know when it is time to attack and when it is right to retreat. How could you combat evil if you were once a part of it yourself? Do you not feel as if you are betraying who you were in the past? The god of war sent me a message in a dream saying that my fate was to fight against the evil forces that cause pollution in these fields. I know I have the power needed to bring our land to peace. I have little faith in someone who has evil in their veins. There is always a trace of darkness beneath such excessive pride that prevents me from giving you my prayers. If you want to fall in vain, then leave now and fight to the death.